Okay, so we're gonna talk about disc bulge and herniation, and are they the same thing, and if not, what makes them different? Now, when people start to have symptoms, it's more likely related to when that disc gets a little bit closer to the nerve root, and that happens through a herniation, and so that disc will actually protrude a little bit through the annulus, and then it happens off to the side, and typically only affects one side. It doesn't usually go in the middle or both sides. And so if it is L5S1 on my left leg, I would maybe expect some calf tingling, or the side of my leg tingling with maybe a little bit of weakness and pain. You may, may or may not have back pain with it, but with a herniation, you're more likely to have symptoms. But in that same study, they found that people often had herniations without any symptoms as well. So it needs to be correlated with your exam. If you're one of those people that they accidentally found a herniation when they were looking for other things, don't worry about it. It just means that you've been on this earth a few days. And so main difference between the herniation and the bulge is how far that disc moves out of the annulus or towards the nerve 